it's that time of year again. And you know what that means? Horror movies. Horror movies and Halloween go so well together, like bread and butter. Everyone has their favourite movie to watch during the holiday, whether it would be their favourite slasher, a Halloween themed episode from one of their favourite shows, or something Halloween themed that isn't really scary at all, like Hocus Pocus or The Nightmare Before Christmas. There are the famous horror films like The Exorcist, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, The Thing, The Lost Boys, or Trick or Treat. But in this video, I'm going to recommend some films that you may not have heard of and hopefully make your holiday much better. So, without delaying any further, let's get into it. First off, we have a John Carpenter film. Now, John Carpenter is an incredible director. He's made two of the best horror films, Halloween and The Thing. But he's also done another film which is sort of underrated and I would say is up there. And for me, it's The Fog. In 1980, John Carpenter released The Fog. He stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins, Janet Lee, and Hal Holbrook. He tells the story of a coastal town who is haunted by the ghost of Marines who were shipwrecked a hundred years ago. It's a very simple premise, but it makes up for it by being so atmospheric. From the very first scene, it grips you and it doesn't stop until it ends. The music by John Carpenter and the special effects are simply incredible. John Carpenter is amazing at building suspense and in this film, it's done extremely well. I wouldn't say the acting is all that amazing, especially compared to Halloween and The Thing, but aside from that, I would say it's really, really good. Check it out and see for yourself. Next on our list, we are going over to Italy I'm looking at a film from the, the 80s. Now, this isn't a perfect film. There are problems, but there are things that do kind of make up for it. And that is City of the Living Dead. 1980s City of the Living Dead is a really good film. It's not perfect, but I do think it is really enjoyable. Despite not having an ambitious plot, with it essentially being the dead coming back to life. It is really effective in being a good horror flick. The practical effects are amazing. There's a particular scene halfway through the movie which is so gory and is really awesome to look at. Personally, I wouldn't really call this a classic, but I'd say it's definitely worth a watch and it is extremely entertaining. So check it out and see for yourself. Next, we're going from Italy all the way to South Korea. There are two films that are horror that I do think are incredible. Well, the, the one I'm about to mention now is not really a horror. It's more of a thriller. But I guess in some regards you could watch this during Halloween because it's so harrowing, so gory. And it's really disturbing. I guess in some ways you can kind of say this is like a sort of horror-esque. And that is I Saw the Devil. 2010's I Saw the Devil is an incredible film. Not only is this difficult to watch, but, but it also has one of the best stories and characters. The plot is basically an NIS agent which is basically a South Korean CIA going after a serial killer after he murders his fiancée. But it has an interesting take on the concept. I won't go into spoilers, but I don't think I've seen anything like this in any other film. Toy Min Sik does an incredible performance. His performance in Old Boy was already amazing. In this one, he really outdid himself. You really feel intimidated. Aside from Toy Min Sik, there's Lee Byung Hong. He goes through so many emotions during this film. Even the music is perfectly made from the, the theme of the movie to the character's theme to the piano rendition at the end. It's an all around incredible film and I highly recommend you watch it. I can't talk about this movie too much without spoiling it, but 
yeah all that to say is definitely check it out if you can stomach these kind of films i say 100 percent go for it next on our list we're still in south korea and there's a film i am dying to talk about and that film is the wailing the Wailing is one of the best supernatural horror movies I have seen in quite a while. It centers around a small town in South Korea who's been haunted by this plague ever since a Japanese foreigner came to visit. And from there it gets stranger and stranger. It's pretty similar to The Exorcist but it has such a unique spin. In terms of how the story unfolds, personally what I think makes Korean horror so much more effective is due to it being based in subtlety it's way more subtle compared to how the west um, do horror not to say any of the films from the west are bad like especially the films i mentioned earlier in the video i just think it's kind of more embedded i won't spoil the ending but to me it's one of the most jaw-dropping endings i have seen but yeah it's an amazing film Great story, great characters, amazing cinematography. Definitely do not skip this. Okay, so with this film, we're going to America. And this is a film I saw just recently, like literally last weekend. And it completely blew me away. And that film is Return of the Living Dead. This movie is like one big roller coaster from start to finish. You may think this is a George A. Romero sequel, which I wouldn't blame you if you think that, but actually it's a standalone movie, with the events of Night of the Living Dead being real in this film. The dead essentially come back to life because of a chemical gas. What makes this interesting is the dead actually eat brains and have the ability to talk and think. This movie has one of the funniest scenes and it is one of my favourites. I thought you said if we destroyed the brain, it'd die. It worked in the movie! Well, it ain't working now, Frank. I mean the movie line! That cracked me up when I first watched it. But yeah, this, this movie is so fun and so bonkers. It's a movie you can turn on, relax and have such a fun time watching. The, the performances are great, the music, the practical effects, the makeup. It's all extremely well made. Like, th this movie screams 80s. Definitely do not skip on this one. And lastly on that list is an adaptation from Stephen King's second novel. That is the TV movie Salem's Lot. This is such a fun and engaging TV movie. Stephen King is incredible at writing horror. He's amazing at writing suspense and keeping you on your toes. And this film, along with most of his adaptations, do just that. The plot is sent around a writer named Ben Mars, who goes to his hometown of Salem Lot to write about the Myers house. A mysterious house with, with an unsettling origin. And soon after his visit, vampires start terrorizing the small town. If you haven't seen this film, then you've probably seen the head vampire, Mr. Barlow, who's pretty much a staple in horror movies now. It grips you from start to finish, and there are so many creepy scenes, especially the iconic one, which I'm not going to say what it is, but here's a picture. Yeah. This movie is great, especially if you're a fan of Stephen King, definitely give this a watch. It was great in 1979 and it's still amazing now. Definitely give this a watch. Well, th this has been a fun video to make. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I recommended some movies to you, uh, movies that you may not have heard about. Like and subscribe if you really enjoyed this and I'll see you later.